Hey guys, Ray here, uh, sitting outside work. I work at the Walmart. I'm in Dino, Ohio. Uh, I start in like 30 minutes. I figured I'd give you guys a quick update, what's going on. I haven't had a video in a while. Uh, haven't got any boxes to open, haven't had many projects. Working on a couple things, just odds and ends to keep my mind and my hands busy pretty much uh found my papa's bb gun old original daisy uh it's beat up pretty bad shape one of my brothers stomped on it when i was younger got mad at me uh so i'm refinishing the stock and i'm gonna try to do something with the uh the metal casing that goes over the action and the actual barrel um Y'all know it's only a .177 caliber BB. This is an old little steel BB, so it's got the little metal tube in it. That's the barrel, um, and then the part that looks like the barrel and the action is actually just a metal casing that goes over top of it all. Um, I'm gonna try to fix it. It's bent and uh, split in a few spots. So see what I can do. I already started working on the stock on the fore end. So uh, I figured I'd just give you guys just. You know, little bits of updates. Uh, I know I said I was going to do the giveaway on the carry it every day. Giving out uh, Cerebus Tac uh, Concealments uh, cards. The wallet I said I'm going to give away. Not many people responded uh, on the Facebook pick. Only one guy did. It's been long enough. Uh, Tim Royal, I'm going to contact you on Facebook. This will be coming your way. Uh, give me your address and everything when I contact you on Facebook have you message me um as far as the cleaning kit I haven't really got too many uh, responses on that uh, I'm gonna hold on to it still uh, contest is still open on that one like I said parameters for that one was write me and tell me what has inspired you okay uh, to either do gunsmithing watch my videos or whatever it is you do okay there's something that you do that you have a passion for what in, what what inspired you give me that that's 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 what I want to hear okay um also for the cleaning kit you can't be a student of SDI um uh, it wouldn't be fair because if you are a student of SDI and you're taking the advanced gunsmithing course or you're taking the associate's um, degree, you're going to get this cleaning kit, okay? And it's not exactly fair to get two. I mean, I got two by accident and I'm giving one away. So, see what I'm doing. So, if you're not a student of SDI, please don't. Don't lie. There's honor in us, guys. There's honor in us gunsmiths. There's honor in us. Most of us are vets. So there's honor there. Don't don't try to get it and then oh I'm gonna sell it. That's baloney. Don't don't do that. It's not even right. I'm not even trying to sell it. And I paid for it with my own tuition. So by all sense I could sell it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna give it away. Um still planning on moving come taxes. Like I said, it's July right now, towards the end. And you know, we won't get taxes until April ish. So, but we're planning on moving down here to this area. It's a nice little area, Medina, Ohio area, or Brunswick, or something nearby. Something in this area. We just got to get out of the uh, city of Cleveland. Just tired of the congestion and the uh, crampness of uh, being in the city. So, it's kind of bright, and I don't feel like putting my sunglasses on. Um, what else? I know he's keep stitching because I'm going to be kissing my wife later. She's going to see that and I, I probably won't be able to post more videos. I'll be dead. Yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, if your nose itches is a rumor or wives tell you're going to kiss a fool. That's why I said that. Um, not much else has been going on. Uh, doing good in school, actually. Uh, little update in schooling. I have two Jet End courses. One of them's a repeat, the American government one. I'm actually doing pretty good in it this time. 
Uh, just finished off week two. Finished off the week two quiz. You know, I'm not much on the writings. Uh, but both of them were 100%. So that's good. Um, the other gen ed course, I did not see this one coming. Psychology. Psychology. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I need this in gunsmithing, but I could kind of kind of see it where I would need it, like doing gun sales and stuff like that, making sure it's not a straw purchase, and making sure I'm not getting swindled by someone who, I don't know, maybe has a few screws loose. I can see where I need it a little bit. But not that much. Anyways, I'm actually doing good in this this uh class too uh first quiz i got an 80 percent on and this last quiz i just did last night 90 so apparently uh i seem to get it a little bit i don't know maybe i'm maybe i got a couple screws loose myself or something i don't know but then the uh the only gunsmithing course I'm in right now is I'm repeating basic hand tools lab, and that was because the last time I did it, when I uploaded my final project, my pictures and my video got corrupted. That was, you know, back when I was having a hard time with my videos and everything. Um, I think I had a different phone at the time too. It just kept on going crazy. I don't know what it was. Um, or I think it was this one. I don't know. Uh, but I uh. I'm repeating that one, and that one's full of writing assignments because there's no quizzes except at the end of the fourth week. Uh, and in that class, the project was to use your tools to do something, take apart a firearm or you know anything like that. Um, last time I had took apart my MMP because I had never taken it apart before, fully. Let me, I've, you know taking it apart basically just to clean it um but yeah damn my nose just will not stop itching i was out yesterday camping not camping at campgrounds but we were just picnicking and swimming and everything like that and i swear i got bit on my nose anyways um so the writing assignments, I, I did them last time, you know, based off the readings and whatnot, and it's kind of hard to repeat that. It's kind of hard to do those again. Um, so get a little creative with it, see where it goes. Um, as far as the project, as you all know, I sold my MMP. Can't repeat that. I can't take it apart again and. You know all that stuff and pass it off as being a original first time doing it that's baloney after that I think I did it quite a few times B all of the firearms I have in my house I have completely dismantled down to its last pin and spring so I can't exactly say that it's the first time so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe borrow like one of my buddy's guns and take it apart and put it back together. Something like that. You know, just for a project, you know, I swear there's something on me, man. No one knows. Ugh, I'm going to be doing this all day. And I don't get out till nine. And it's eleven thirty in the well morning, going on noon. I start at noon. And I get off at nine. Let me itch my nose for freaking nine hours and my ear. Anyways, enough of the goofiness. I thought I knew that person. Uh yeah. So that's pretty much what's going on. Jeez Louise, here we go. Go ahead and get back at me about the uh, cleaning kit. Like I said, what inspired you to do your passion? Gunsmithing, shoe shining. I, I really don't care. 
Just tell me. I want to. I want to hear your guys' inspirational stories. I told you guys about mine. You know, I just bounce back and forth between a couple of different professions. I was doing armed security for nine and a half years. Had to quit thanks to my body was just giving out. And I was, you know, in the midst of all these videos. You know, I told you guys I was switching jobs. I switched from doing armed security to Walmart. But prior to that, I'd always been watching YouTube videos. I was always interested in firearms. I've always had an interest in firearms. I just never really thought there was much into it for me. And... Then I watched Hickok 45's video about SDI, and from that one I got recommended to Iraq Veteran 8888's video about SDI. Uh, him sitting down with Zeke, uh, James Jaeger's video of SDI, him uh, talking with Zeke. All these other SDI videos started popping up, and it's like, let me look into it. Looked into it, checked out the website, seen all the stuff they offered. And sat down with the wife, explained to her, I was like, you know what, this is something that seems to be catching my eye and I want to give it a shot. You know, I know I'm going to have to pay back tuition and all that stuff. I'm going to have to pay back all my college loans and everything. But in the end, it may provide a living for us that may bring in some decent money. Uh, hopefully enough where she doesn't have to work. You know, she wants to be that stay-at-home mom. She wants to be able to make a home for us that uh, I can come home to and relax. She she literally wants to work at home. She wants to take care of the kids, take care of the house. You know, and I told her she doesn't have to do that, that... I'm not one of those guys that goes, oh, you should stay at home, be in the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not like that. I ain't teaching my boys that either. And it's like, if she wants to work outside the home, absolutely. I mean, we both work here at Walmart. She's a cashier. Just dropped her off, and I'm sitting tight until it's my time to start. Uh, and she loves her job, for the most part. I mean, she's a cashier, so she gets some nasty customers. So do I. And for y'all... Quit being nasty to cashiers. It ain't their fault. Half the stuff, the people that are on the floor. Me. I don't sales floor. Sales floor associate. So, blame me. Not the cashiers. Come yell at us. That or a lot of times it's the managers. That too. Believe me. Anyways. So, you know, she wants to be that stay-at-home mom. I want to give her what she wants. I want to make my wife happy. It's my job, right? Okay. So, hopefully this does that. And we said, let's do it. A little over a year now. I'm over halfway. Probably about halfway now with a couple of the classes I have to do repeats on. Um, just did the environmental science the second time around. Didn't do so good. Um... Not to mention my laptop crashed, so I've been trying to borrow the wife's or do it off of my phone. So because of that, I haven't been able to reference the material very easily. Um, because we get open book quizzes. Uh, yeah, I just have a hard time. Uh, with you know, like the environmental science stuff, I I try to read it and I go to fall asleep. Yeah. Um, I know I'm gonna have to take English 101 over again. I'm waiting for that to pop up. Um, that's the only gen ed courses I've taken. I've taken English 101, I've taken American government, and I've taken the environmental science. I know I've got to do my MTL class, which is a rotary tool class, because I didn't get anything, no writing assignments or anything in in time in two weeks. Had a lot of crap going on at home, and I you know, got withdrawn from that cl that uh, class. So I'll have that come back, and I think the uh, I think my cleaning class. I think I got to retake. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to take CFL again. So I know I've got a few classes to repeat. So only this time around, you know get the stuff done life happens but 
All right, guys. I got a little bit of extra time before I need to get in there and start. I'm hungry. I haven't ate yet. I need to eat. I'm going to cut it short here. And, you know, hope to hear from you guys, especially about the cleaning kit. I will, I'm going to put a time limit on this one, okay? I know I don't have many viewers. I know I don't have very many subscribers. I've probably been losing subscribers because I really haven't been posting videos. I, I'm looking for material, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm going to give it two weeks, two weeks from today. Okay. So two weeks from today is the 7th of August. That is my son's 14th birthday. Okay. I have two 14 year olds. One just turned 14 in May and I got one turning 14 in August. That's, you know, from my, my wife and I being married, it's, her son that's turning 14, well, this is my boy. You know, I got four boys. I don't say stepsons. I don't say stepdaughter. Screw that crap. You know, I was from a blended, uh, well, sort of blended family, actually. Uh, I got half brothers and half sister. But my stepdad, nah, I, I called him by his name, but I, re I referenced him as my dad. And then I had my other dad and all that stuff. Anyways, off topic again. I'm going to give it two weeks. My son's birthday. I will be making a decision as to who's getting the cleaning kit. But you got to comment on this video or one of the other ones that reference the cleaning kit. Okay. Uh, preferably this video be a lot easier. But if, uh, there I go, scratch my nose again. But if I have to, I'll pick it from one of the other videos. But you cannot be a part of SDI. Okay, and come on, guys. You know, I can't find out. You know, I can't go call an SDI and say, hey, is this person a student? It's not going to work that way. Do me a favor. Be honest about it. Honoring it all. Okay? Be honest with it. If you're a student of SDI, don't do it. If you're an SDI and all you're doing is taking, like, an armorer's course, then you've probably got a ton of cleaning stuff, but... Because you may not be getting the CFL class, that I may make an exception to. But if you're a part of the Advanced Gunsmithing course or the Associate's Degree, which those two you will end up getting the CFL class and getting the cleaning kit, then don't do it. Seriously? Okay? Let's be honest. Let's be fair. Okay? <laughs> but, alright guys. I gotta get going. Get something to eat. As always, be safe, have fun, and do what you love. Take it easy.